favor the stair area? Um, the box said Lisa, so that could possibly be the girl's name, maybe. Maybe, uh, put on a show for us. Is there a spirit in here? Yes. Did you say that? Yeah, it went up. Yeah, it went up twice. Do you know what we're going to ask before yes. we even ask it? <laughs> it said yes, or I was going to ask it. Bro. <laughs> um, that was crazy. Are you aware that you're dead? It cut me off again. So yes. yes. Right. Okay. Now it's showing off. Right. Wait. Only demons. Are you know are, are you answering all these truthfully? I started asking about a demon, and it literally said yes. As I started asking about that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's let's give it a no question. Are you alive? It's gonna tell us yes. Are you physically alive? Yes. Yeah. Is there? Well, okay, one thing for sure. I don't know if it's following the yes or no rule. We're getting a response every time we ask a question. We are? And it's no, apparently we're not. <laughs> what? Is there an afterlife? We've already confirmed this, but I want to see if he's going to. Is there an afterlife? That's interference from Mark. Even though it wasn't even that hard. I want to see if something even as small as... Oh, hey. Did it? Whoa, okay. Uh, none of that was me. <laughs> I knocked it once and then it went up once. But then there were two yeses. So I think, yes, it was saying there was an afterlife. And then that was Mark's reaction. Are there more than one spirit here? One. So yes? Yes. One. Does that mean there were multiple deaths here? No. You can barely see it. It was on the side, but it said no. And then it came to go up and down again. Oh, I want to see something. <gasps> okay, yeah. So even air. Do you have, do you not have enough energy? Yes. I don't like the fact that you asked it, do you know what it's going to say right before we say it? And it, said it? Are you able to use any one of our energies? Yes. Will you use some of our energy? Yes. We're waiting. Did you die? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Did you die? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> you let me finish. Did you die in the school? It gave me a yes and a no. Huh? You're lying. Use motion. Are you still here? It should have stopped. Has it left the building? Are you not here anymore? Jesus, if that don't do it, I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah, nothing. It's flatlined. Dead, bro. It left us. All right, well, I guess new rule. Low energy spirits, that's the form of communication we gotta use. Yeah. Because that's twice now we've confirmed that works. Because look, it's gone now. We're, not, we're done asking questions. And it just won't respond. No. What the hell? Like, right, right as I say you're gone, you... No. What the... No, are you not gone? Or no, you don't want to be here? Are you here? It said no. Good. Are you still here? Yes. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? I missed you. No. What? <laughs> this is all over the place, bro. What the f <laughs> I went up and down. Are you getting nothing on the mellow Up and K2? down again. Up and down again. You're getting nothing on the mellow K2. Uh uh. Must be a super low power spirit. Said no for some reason. 
Will it set it as you were talking? Yes. It is a low power smear. Yes, no, no, oh wait, no, that's Mark. Oh, no, you're fine. Hey Mark, is your camera recording still? No, no, no. Okay, thank you. I want to see something. All right, so our voices actually don't interfere with this because that loud clap didn't do anything. What was that? It came from that corner, but there's no door over there. Did you just make that noise? If that was you, make that noise one more time. Nothing. Here comes Mark. He's stepping. You can see it. There it is. Was it him? Sorry? Wasn't that janitor making that noise? I think so. Okay. Other than closing the door. Did you just make that noise? Those two bangs that we just heard, was that you? Or any sort of, no, no. Hey, it just confirmed it. Was it the janitors? They stay in my room, bro. Yes. So are you a demon? Are you, I don't like the fact that you said yes. Um, For a second time when asked that. Are you a demon? No. What? Yes. Don't lie oh, to no, me. Wait, no, that's up and down. That's not anything. It, like, Matthew, when you moved. Oh, I wonder what that was. Do that again. Oh, okay, hold on. Captures that. No oh, your knock is bassy. All right, we're gonna leave pretty soon. Do you want us to leave? Yes, yes, okay. Would you like us to leave you in peace? No. Once more? Yes. All right, shall we turn everything off and call the lady and kick the hell out of this library? That is a spike or something, two spikes. We need, we need a, yes, okay. The conversation we just had with the spirit was significant because of the intelligent interaction and the answers we were receiving. This is a different way to use the ovulus in which a spirit can manipulate the surrounding energy fields in a negative or positive way to answer yes or no questions. The last time our crew tested this, this was off camera, and even our K2 was going off when we were getting an answer. However, we cut the conversation short to respect the spirit's wishes to leave it alone. At this point, we will head to the locker rooms and we will experience a very interesting situation. Some back there. It's some back there. Are you just gonna walk around with K2 and we'll stop them making this fight? Yeah. Hi. Eric Professor.
You're not sharing this one. That's all. What is that? The obvious. Oh, okay. You know what I'm very confused about? The shower? Why these lights are on, but I'm pretty sure she just turned them off. Meet. Like M E A T? M E E T. Alright. Meet what? Thoroughfare. Thoroughfare. Nerve. Nerve. Are you saying there's fresh meat in these locker rooms? Are you a male or a female? Our Melmeter just gave off an unfathomable reading. Usually the readings we get from the Melmeter are as follows. 1 to 5 is a pretty normal or low energy spirit. 6 to 10 is a little significant because of the amount of energy needed to give that reading. Anything above 10 is amazing and anything above 20 is just insane. Yet here, at North High School, we caught a 75.8, and the temperature was read at 404.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Mark was not next to any electrical components, and the device glitched and stayed at 68.8 until Mark shut it off. When Mark would return to the same stairwell, the device gave a normal reading, showing that there weren't electrical components messing with it. We, at first, thought it was just a glitch, but when we realize that the device is only a year old and shouldn't be doing that, and the fact that we take care of our equipment, we realize that this shouldn't have happened. Another reason we are calling this paranormal for now is that this wasn't the last time this will happen tonight, and the circumstances surrounding the second time are too significant to call a coincidence. At this time, all three of us got lost and started looking for each other. The events that are about to happen are very interesting, because we stopped looking for the pool, and started looking for each other. And when we came together, the spirits had a little surprise for us. Gale dives. Dives. Is that like in the pool? Fame band. Sun. Hey, JT. What's up, Mark? Hey, you got? Hey. Freaking. Where, wait, yeah, where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're on the other side of this. Hey, hey, so I was going down the stairs, right? Yeah. I turned it back and it's still on M MG, right? It stays on MG? Yeah, yeah. that's the thing with Fahrenheit. I'm going down these stairs where it's pitch black. Now this says 6.6. .6. But anyway, I'm going down the stairs. The top thing said 68.8. 
and the degrees Fahrenheit was 404.5. What, do you have on film? Yes, I do. I pointed it right at it, and I said it's 404.5 degrees, and it's 68.8 mg. What? So okay. Crazy. And then I went back out, I turned it back off, so I was like, I might have hit something, turned it back on, and it was back to normal. But just at that one point, it was 68.8, right. 405 degrees. Here's we were walking around and we got to the pool and you know, the door wouldn't open because it was a lot of the pool, so we started leaving. Huh. We're walking down this hall and all of a sudden we get Gale dives. Yeah. So I think we should all go to the pool. Yeah. Let's drain these damn batteries. I got 12 minutes left. Alright, let's get it. Yeah, it's like 404.5 degrees. That is fucking insane. It's yeah. probably like living hell in there. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. It's not fucking hot at all. Beg and Doug arrived. This is 1.7. 1.7 MG1. You said 1.3, now it's at 0.7.2. Get it on, Phil. Is that 1.7 or 1.0? Are those stairs up here? Did I went down soon? Nope. It was the dark ass. This way? Yeah, this way, this way. Wrong, Douglas. Perhaps. We. Oui. Okay, now this thing just won't shut up. There you go. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this where our stuff is? Okay, so this is base. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, so before you go, uh, let's grab the action matter. Ah, yeah. Oh, you have it, that's right. Good. Alright, double the pull together and see what we can get. Alright, here, I'll show you guys first. Alright. Um, where. Peter after. Puncher. Heat. Shit, what are those stairs? Yeah, this is the boys' locker room. Damn, where the hell did I come from? <laughs> no. I hear this one. Oh, oh bless you. Say bless you. It's getting a lot of lures. I don't think this is valid. Yeah, because I went through that door. Um, stairs right here. Yeah, but this is it. I was down these stairs. And it hit 60, 48, 400, 500. So do you just cool? Except prey. PRAY? Say what? PRAY? Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, it's just a hallway. Gosh, did it. Yeah. So, let's find the door. Let's Why did it say gateway right now? Is it this way? No, we can't. Is it that one? No. No, we can't. Well, that's how I found you guys. Is I came from this way and you guys are down there. So, but, yeah, I can't find the pool. Well, you left the pool. You left and you went that way, right? Yeah, I got lost. I, I ended up upstairs and then found there. That store, or the fucking stairway. Hey, this is it. What's this? Is this it? No. We need to find the pool now. Yeah. Like, I feel like stars. Oh, I thought it said stairs. I was like, <laughs> athletics locker. All right, I don't think this thing will work. So, are you sure it's not the stairs? Oh, is it through this way? Ah, we get try. What? Devil. It's a mad devil matter. Let's just keep walking around. Alright, so I think this is the sit. Yes, what the? Sit. Yeah, we're sifting through this little area because we don't know what the fuck we're going. This is 
source? Those double doors? Uh, those lead to the... Yeah. Oh, right. Because that's the mechanical. Come on, JG. All right. Oh, uh, God. We need a map of this place, don't we? A little bit. Here. Someone push me in the book. No. Please. Science. Please. No, it said science. Wait. Science class? Yes. All right. I got six minutes. Mark, how much matter is that? Um, so I have a bar. Uh, 11 minutes. Alright, you have the second hour, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you seeing what's wrong for the rest of us? I'm doing this all. Call our friend. Yeah, we're going the right way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to swap in. Oh, full cool signs. Kind of smell it. And who is in the far, yeah, back here, far corner? Uh, we can't get there this way. Correct. <laughs> okay, Mark, I want, I want you uh, to run on this with me. Alright. She definitely turned all these lights off, right? Um, that's what I thought. Yeah, I don't remember that one. I thought it was pitch dark. This was the one, right? No, these are just the bathrooms. Cool. Oh, from okay. here. Alright. You know that? You know that? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, we can't get through that. Yeah. Maybe the boys walk around with that Wait. Yeah, I'll Wait, I smell something. 68.8. Uh, so what? C400, 4.5. Look at that. That's what he was showing me. What the? Chills. Are you going to give us chills? Why is it so cold? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's so cold. It says 400 fucking 4 degrees. <laughs> but it's safe at 400. I'm going to be these And it's just gone. Up sixty one point seven. Sixty eight point eight. Uh I did not like the way that fucking sounded. The events that just took place are too coincidental to ignore. First, the door locked itself and trapped us in through going to the other side, where we later learned the pool was. Then we got another massive sixty eight point eight spike on the millimeter. Then the obvious says surprise as if the spirit was taunting us and letting us know that it was the cause for everything that just happened. We were confused by the door, especially because the person who was helping us definitely unlocked it, and we even have it on film. It seems that whatever was messing with us didn't want us to go to the pool, so at this point we felt obligated to get to this pool. So I went to an area where I had enough service to call our guide and she led us right to the place where it has been said a girl drowned years ago. And when we wanted confirmation on if this happened, we in fact did receive an answer. This is a weird situation though, because she definitely unlocked that door. Okay, so here's the pool. Thank God, it's taking a lot to get.
just caught a female voice letting us know that the girl drowned down here. Is she referencing the bottom of the pool being where she drowned? Also, is it because this female named Gail dove to the pool and drowned? We haven't like even that. broke 76 degrees yet. Is it stuck like that? What did I? So it's 445 degrees in here? No, but it was. Yeah, when we first got in here, you know, back to 76. But I'll bet you the humidity is like 200%. Above. Oh. Broken. Oh, it's like <laughs> what about broken? It says above and then broken. Did you fall from a high place and you to die? These two words, above and broken, absolutely describe how a girl named Gail could have been at the pool and dove from a diving board above the pool, and her fate was that she was broken and drowned. The spirit in this room who's been communicating with us during the second half of this investigation has told us that the story of the girl drowning in the pool is true, and that her soul still remains here. Walk around with me. That way, if something cool comes up, I can show it. So far, what we got? Um, broken above, and this one, and we got that one. With no further activity, we decided to call the investigation good. The spirits at North High School were happy to let themselves be known. Every location we went to in the school had a different story. From the trapped woman in the auditorium. Um, the box said Lisa, so that could possibly be the girl's name, maybe. To the girl who drowned in the pool. Gail Dives. North High School definitely is a haunted location with a plethora of spirits roaming its halls. Each one roams the halls of this school daily, and each with a different story to tell. <laughs>